Kyle Tarpley doing this week's AR Drone 2.0 episode. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and call this episode zero because we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, just generally for those of you who are just now getting the drone, or uh, I don't know, maybe for some folks who have had theirs for a while, uh, just kind of take a look inside and see what you need to do with a drone right out of the box. circular pieces of tape right here you'll cut. Now here you've already got the drone all put together, completely able to fly, except for the fact you'll need to download an app on your phone or iPod, whatever you're using. Uh, this is the indoor hole. Uh, you'll want to eventually use this as little as possible because it's so heavy. It comes with a plastic film right here you're actually supposed to remove. Let's go ahead and do that. One on each side. There's a little red sticker there. Just pull on the red sticker. The next thing you're going to want to do is do the same. This is more important. Take it off the bottom plate too because this can actually, this is your bottom camera. That's how it knows what flat is and how to level itself. This plastic is covering that up. Or these sensors here, you're going to have uh, difficulty flying. Here you've got your, this is the blue drone that I bought here. This also comes with the plastic on the outdoor hole. Go ahead and pull that off. Just dead weight, it's not doing any good. The next thing you're going to want to do here is your battery charger. Here is, you got four, depending on where you live, what country. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to use, where is it? Ah, this one right here. Just put it in there. Place. There you go. So you got that. You want to go ahead and do this first so that you can get flying as quick as possible. Snap the battery on there. Just plug that in. Uh, you got these stickers here. Here's your manual. You don't even need to look at that. You don't need to go through 100 pages of that book. Uh, these stickers I never use. Uh, you can use them for decoration on your holes and also to play some app games, uh, Target Hunters, a few other ones where you can interact uh, multiple drones or people with drones using these stickers. Like I said, that's kind of a gimmicky kids thing, so I don't really do that. Uh, so what we got here, I'm going to put this box to the side. We'll go ahead and remove this hole too. This is the actual drone. This is just a styrofoam shell. And uh, first thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of tape. Doesn't matter what color. I'm just using yellow because it's bright. A few inches long. It's a too long. Right there. And then put your phone number. word reward on there because if your drone gets lost it doesn't have a GPS on it it's gonna fly off possibly who knows where someone might find it and you need to have your phone number and the word reward on there or else you may never see it again uh, another option you can do here these holes is uh, we just took off that thin plastic covering uh, it comes with it's somewhat decorative. It doesn't really do any good to protect it. It actually weighs uh, about 19 grams or so, each of them, 17 and 19. So you might as well just pull those off to remove weight and thus add battery life. 
maneuverability to your drone. And uh, if you want to, if you're a perfectionist, you can uh, just get a hot air, uh, what are they called, a hair dryer or something like that to go ahead and loosen the glue, but you can really just pull it off with your fingers. It's not difficult. And uh, while we're here, there's a few things that you'll want for your drone if you haven't, if you're just starting off with just, uh, just the drone, new out of the box, you'll need a toolkit. All this stuff, by the way, full drones, every upgrade's available in my store. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, also, I like the 60 beat. Uh, you're gonna need to find a method of control, either tilt, joystick mode, a 60 beat, uh, RC, Moz, something like that. This is what I've used in all my episodes so far with this drone. It's just my iPod Touch along with the 60 beat app. Uh, here you'll want to balance your propellers. And as you can see, these ones are painted. They got chipped in a crash. It's no, this body broke too in the crash. Uh, but you'll just use a little bit of tape. You need to see episode four on how to balance your propellers. Uh, right here, I've got uh, hog mod landing gear. It acts basically like springs. Uh, if you need to see how to attach that, that's episode 10. If you need to see crash tests with it from uh, 66 feet, that's episode, uh, that was last week, episode 15. So that's one route. If you want to go Wi Fi, I would recommend a 60 beat. Uh, although any method of control that you are comfortable with is good. Uh, you can use either this hog mod. Or right here you see I've got uh, a MacGyver mod here. You use this in place of a phone or something like that. There's a number of different RC mods we'll be dealing with in future episodes. Uh, you can see the chip here. There's a little antenna. Under the bottom plate you can see it plugs in directly to your motherboard. Uh, then right here this is a lighter weight. You could either go with this option here or this one here, which is lighter weight, but not quite as protective. So uh, you're gonna go one way or the other. It's a matter of preference. They'll both offer better crash protection and just landing protection than without. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what you need to do to get your app for the AR drone. Uh, go ahead and go into your uh, phone, whatever you're using here, this is an Apple device, so I'll be showing you, because uh, I personally use an iPod, as I just showed you a moment ago. Uh, you can either go with the free Parrot app, or you can go with, I like drone control. We'll go ahead and just do the AR drone app right now. Uh, you can either download Parrot's free app, whatever it is at the time. Uh, at the moment of this recording, it's AR.drone. One word is the name of the app, and that's free. Uh, there's better apps. Both if you're using Droid or if you're using Apple, I'm using an Apple product here, uh, usually they're about $6. Those apps, uh, I like Drone Control, Drone Ace is also good, uh, Flight Pro is good for the Droid. Uh, those are all about $6, but they've got a lot, a lot of extra features, a lot more options. Uh, for example, the 60 beat with Drone Control, that uh, just really makes it worth the $6 for your $300 drone. All right, now just to start flying, uh, plug in your battery. At this point, it needs to be charged. Put it in there, Velcro it in. Plug in these two cords right here. When you do that, give it a second. All four props should do a little half spin. There we go, you know everything's working good. Uh, you can put on either the indoor hole or the outdoor hole. It doesn't really matter, but uh, make sure that you set your menu settings to indoor, outdoor, wherever you are, and also the hole to indoor, outdoor, so that you, uh, the drone knows what kind of environment it's in, how much weight it's carrying. And you'll need to go into uh, your Wi-Fi, connect to the drone if you haven't named it. Uh, right out of the box will be called something like AR Drone 2 underscore and then a six digit number. Connect to that. It's connected. Go into your app. 
And I'm using a 60 feet, but uh, you can use right out of the box. You can just use uh, the joystick mode or tilt if it's uh, back in the app store by the time you're watching this. All right, now I can see out the uh, front camera what it sees. Here you can see I can see Nathan filming me through my iPod. Let me just hit take off. Make sure this is on snug. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. Of course, check out my store.